Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Ashen Prime here once again to be going over Final Fantasy XV lore and story and making notes and complaining about it along the way because I love this series, which means that I have a lot of little nitpicks. And this is all in service of and in preparation for, well, not really in service of, but in preparation for the Final Fantasy Relay Race happening in uh, a few days here, but uh, in June 2020, because I have been honored to be asked to help commentate, uh, specifically as kind of a lore slash story expert. And so I have decided to go through and take so many notes on all of the lore things. And we already have a good amount of notes going already. If I pop on over to here, boop, there we are. We aren't looking at that right now, turn that off. Okay, uh, here is the list of things that we've gone over so far. We started with the Platinum demo. This, is, uh, this came out long before the game did to give an idea of what the game would play like. And it takes place in the story. It takes place when no after Noctis has been attacked by the demon. He's in the co in a coma, and this is when this takes place. Interesting things we found from there. Um, even prior to this, Noctis had uh, had uh, sleeping troubles. The gods showed up in there. Specifically, Titan and uh, Leviathan showed up in the dream. And whether that was just to show off, and so it was actually not canon, or whether they actually did po pop in on young Noctis while he was sleeping just to check in on him, we don't know. Um, it was important to note that there was somebody actively fighting against Noctis waking up. Uh, there, an iron giant shows up at the end that you have to fight against, and it feels like they wanted that to be Arden. But that doesn't make any sense whatsoever, because Arden's final plan is for Noctis to grow up and become the King of Light and then kill the King of Light. So, who knows? Uh, then we went on to King's Tale. This one, probably I should have done first, but oh well. It, uh, it technically um, happens before Noctis is even injured by the demon. It's King Regis telling a bedtime story to his son. And so we don't know how much of the story that it tells is actually true because um, the framing story is Regis telling a story to Noct, um, but the story he's telling is about Regis as a, young ch uh, a younger man, uh, early 20s or something, already the king, but going on an adventure with his friends, Wescom, Sid, and Claris. Um, interesting things we found from that is that um, Wescom was actually Regis' steward for a while, uh, which means that that probably is not debatable. Wescom was Regis' steward, which is about the same position that Ignis holds, more or less. So, interesting thing to note about our, our favorite bartender there. Um, uh, interesting things that happened that we can't be sure if they were actually real or not. I don't remember what this song is from. Sure, okay, it's from the OST. I don't know exactly... Various artists usually means that it's part of the Royal Edition because they didn't credit the Royal Edition music properly. Anyway. Not sure what part of the, uh, the Royal Edition it's from, but it's in there. Cool. Uh, what was I saying? Yes. Things we don't know if they were true or not about King's Tale um, is that we just got help from the gods. Rama showed up, Titan showed up, and Leviathan showed up all at different points in time. One thing I think probably is true is that Ultros was there. He fought Ultros, uh, you fight Ultros as Regis in Kingsdale. And I think that's true because Ultros showed up again in Kingsglaive, which was the thing that we just finished. Uh, but we'll be getting there in a second. After King's Tale, we moved on to Parting Ways, an audio drama that uh, we I read through and did a whole bunch of terrible voices with. Some really cool things we found out from there is that Ignis actually had known Noctis before he was attacked, which was something that hadn't been as clear, as uh, hadn't been very clear in previous uh, Ignis-centric works, like episode Ignis. Um, also that, uh, that Noct, where is this? Noct changed after the demon attack. He, he actually became, started acting differently after he was attacked than he had acted beforehand. Um, Prompto only just barely got to join the Crown's Guard. It doesn't say whether he had started training before he knew they were leaving. Probably. I feel like he probably had, but who knows. But he had only just barely passed whatever test and it was picking up his Crown's Guard fatigues on the way out the door, basically. 
Um, but, uh, yeah, Parting Ways. Parting Ways is on. And then uh, Parting Ways lead, led right into Chapter 1 of the game, Departure. So we actually have already started the game a little bit and then played through the first chapter. Um, not entirely sure why we just calls Noctis his wayward son. That's annoying. Um, it's very interesting. There's a weird dichotomy here. Uh, in, in the first... Uh, in the first uh, cutscene, that's the word, Regis is trying so hard to talk to Noctis as his father. And Noctis at the time is not paying enough attention to realize that. He thinks he's talking to the king, which he doesn't have any time for. Because, I mean, the, the entire point of Parting Ways was that Noctis had spent the entire day before he was leaving on his own. Wanting to talk to his dad, he had been summoned to talk to the king. And then the king just didn't have time for him. And so Noctis at the end was like, well, too bad. It's time for me to leave now. You had your chance. I'm gone. Anyway. Um, oh, another important thing that we noticed that we learned from Parting Ways uh, that will be important when we get into Kingsclave is that the, ca the, the Crown's Guard, who are the ones who guard the Crown, they're in the Citadel protecting the royal family. They have been reassigned to protect the citizenry, and the Kingsclave have been pulled back into the Citadel to protect the royal family, and then the Gate Watch is also there. Um, cool. Where were we going from there? Knock and Prompto were nerds. They had lots of fun talking about things. Anyway, we're back in chapter one. Sorry. So Regis is trying hard to be a father, but Noct is trying to leave the king behind because he's being forced to marry against his will, and he's, you know, only just barely older than a teenager and doesn't like that. Then we go through chapter one. All the regular stuff happens here. I made notes about stuff that will be skipped in the uh, speed run just so that I made sure that I knew I remembered it. The Venu shows up. The Oracle is a thing. Um, and then Kingsglaive happens. And then a few things happen after Kingsglaive. Um, but Kingsglaive happens. And it kind of happens intermixed. One of the interesting things in Kingsglaive is that there's a few scenes. Well, first off, it starts. Kingsglaive starts 12 years in the past with the burning of Tenebrae, where Glauca shows up, kills Sylvia Nox, Sylvia Via Fleury, apparently, who is the mother of Luna and uh, Ravis. That is not how you spell Ravis correctly. That's better. Um, but Regis just, just took his kid and ran. So there's a lot that happened in Kingsclave, a lot of death, a lot of everybody dying, and it's kind of sad and depressing, which is why I have on the happy music, and I'm going to keep playing tonight because I need to get that out of my head. But the most interesting thing, the thing that hadn't really stood out to me before, which is what a lot of this lore stuff is for, is to find things that hadn't stood, that hadn't stood out previous to me and write them down so that I have them noted, and also as a refresher so that I, I know what I'm talking about uh, this coming weekend. But the biggest thing, there, there's a lot of stuff. Um, without Regis, Lucius falls. That is flat out stated. And we see it actually happen in the game. Uh, and a lot of other things. Regis is sacrificing Lucius, Insomnia, and all within them to allow Noctis to survive and complete his duty. He, he flat out says, this is a big sacrifice and I'm doing it for my son. But we, it finally clicked for me what was going on here, and I wrote that down in this area. Regis's only motivation is to protect Noct, who is the prophesied King of Light, to help the King of Light come to age, come to power, do whatever he has to do to fulfill his duty and save the world from the Star Scourge, which already exists, it's already around, and it's getting worse. The problem is... And a lot of the problem, all of the problems in King's Slave movie stem from this, and some of the problems in the game do as well, is that, including Noctis' own uh, outrage at his father, is that anyone who's just looking in on this, all they see is King Regis, a very powerful being, who is throwing away, who has power to help others and to do a lot of good, is throwing all of that away just to help his son, which seems like a very selfish thing, if you don't know the whole also prophesied King of Light has to save the world, it's just powerful person only helping their son at the cost of everyone else. And that leads to a lot of resentments. That's why Ravis resents them. That's why Glauca, uh, Dratus, General Glauca, whatever, that's why they resent him. 
That's why most of the king's slaves, like Lucha and all of his cronies resent them, is because the king is seen as a super powerful being who has isolated himself and his son away from the world at the cost of everyone else. And although with hindsight and knowing what else is happening in the world and that Bahamut is a massive ass, we know that he is doing, that, Ray, that Regis is doing what is necessary for the Light of Providence plan of Bahamut to get Noctis to the point where he can then sacrifice himself and also die. Again, see, Bahamut is an ass. Um, but yeah, it, it, it finally clicked for me in this watch through in a way it hadn't before. Because I kind of was in the mind of, that doesn't make sense, why would Regis do that? But when you realize it's all about because Noctis is the one who has to save the world, because Bahamut is an ass, because Noctis is the only one who this will work, we have to sacrifice everything else in order to get him to this place he needs to be to save the world from Star Scourge. Again. Well, we'll talk about that more in episode Arden and when we get to that point in the game. I don't like Bahamut. I really don't. And I don't know if I'm supposed to, if the, the people who wrote the story are expecting me to like Bahamut. I really don't. And I really don't like Somnus Lucius Kylum, let me tell you. That's a person I want to smack around multiple times with a dead fish. Just because I think that'd be the most insulting thing to be hit around the face with a trout. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was the end of Kingslave. We got a little bit into Chapter 2 because I couldn't save right away. So there were a couple of cutscenes that we got into, including... Um, at the end of King's Slave, Luna leaves Insomnia with a bunch of other refugees. At the start of Chapter 2, we see her actually getting into um, the Clane region, which is uh, where Hammerhead is in that area. Um, at least I think it's Clane where she comes out. Fairly certain it is, because that's the only thing they have modeled in the game. Whether or not it's actually supposed to be that area, I don't know. But she meets up with Insomnia with the Ring of the Lucii, which I can't remember how to spell. I just remember that I needed to look that up. So I can't remember how to spell Lucii. FFXV, Ring of the... Not Ring of the Lucii, that appears to be how it's spelled. Cool! Uh, and her dogs, her dogs are also there. Um, and then along the road, we discovered that Iris was headed to Mustalem. So let's go ahead now. Um, we're gonna just turn that up, turn this off swap over to here oh no i have to actually turn it back on there it is sweet there we are get into our game capture load back up i suppose i could have loaded the game before switching over here i didn't do that i should have done that because now we have to sit and wait for a loading screen which isn't the worst loading screen in the world because i do have i am running if you didn't notice i uh, am running the windows edition i am on my pc it is loading off of an SSD, so it's slightly faster than loading off of, you can't see it back here, but my PS4, not even PS4 Pro, PS4, slim, technically, but it's the Final Fantasy XV edition. I may have a problem with, I have a lot of Final Fantasy XV happening. Which, you know, if you've, um, th this is being streamed on Twitch. And if you've seen any of my previous streams on Twitch, or indeed if you go to the YouTube channel, also Ashen Prime, and look at all of the VODs that are available there, you'll notice there's a lot of Final Fantasy 15. That's because, for some reason, this game hit just right in a way in a time where I absolutely adore it. And so it's kind of became the center of my streaming life, even though it's not all of the everything, but I don't stream a lot else because... This is what I stream. Okay, so where were we? We are back in Hammerhead. We have heard that Kor was here for a second before he took off. Now we need to talk to Sid and figure out where he went. So we walk in here. Crystal and the King's Ring. What they've been after all along. So all talk of peace was merely a pretext. They played my father for a fool. Don't kid yourself. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. 
Loose has got dealt a losing hand, and your old man played it the best he could. I don't recognize this music track. He saw this coming a mile away, and he wasn't gonna go down without a fight. In the end, though, well, it just wasn't enough. You need something else, you talk to Cor. I can't even remember the last time I saw Reggie. Feels like a lifetime ago. So somewhere I have written down how old all of the characters are. Oh. I'm actually going to go look that up now because I'm, I'm curious. Um, let me pull this to the side and pull up some old notes and see what I can find. I think I have it actually listed out in... So I, I have done this exercise before on a smaller scale for the RPG Limit Break run in 20, I assume 2018. And so I still have my notes from there, but I'm rebuilding everything here because I don't want to, you know, uh, I don't want to forget anything. And the best way to do that is to rewrite them all. So where is their actual age? Okay, I have Iris's age written down. Interesting. So I have it listed in a different spot. I have a, I have a lot of places where I keep notes on different things here because I had a lot of different projects that I was doing with it. Okay, here we are. And I'm going to assume that I'm remembering these correctly. Um, so, where is a good spot to put them? I, get, I don't know. We'll put them up here in departure. Yes, no. Open world is where we meet Iris. And we go on a date with her, so that actually makes sense. We'll put it in here because it kind of talks about how, or speaks to how kind of creepy things are. Um, and I'll complain more about that when we get there. So, uh, one note, if you haven't seen any of the previous streams and you're just catching this one here, one of the purpose of these streams is for me to complain about everything. Um, uh, because... Uh, Ignis is 22, 20, here is 15. Yep. And that is, it, mm -hmm. yeah, let's keep these, keep it up just because I can. Luna is 24 and Ravis is 28, apparently. I need to double check Ravis because I'm not certain. I may have made that one up because this is a different set of notes for a different project where there were some things that I made up. Um, but I don't think that was one of them. Um, but I'm also not showing you those notes because, again, there's stuff in here that I made up that isn't important and I don't want to confuse anybody. Anything that is on the sheet right now in, the, in this document is, best I can tell, actually... Canon, canonically correct. Let's actually look up Ravis Knox Flore. See if it will tell me his age in this random wiki. Yes, it does. And that's from his profile in Final Fantasy 15 official works. What is that? It's not a link to anything. Anyway, um, yeah, no, we'll get back to those later. Okay. Um, why did I want those there now? Oh, yes. Um, because... Cora left a message. Said he'll wait for you in the tombs. There to the creepy. northwest of here. That's a short ways past the outpost. Find that first. Auto to quest location. 
Yeah, we're just going to random tombs. That's not creepy at all. Um, so, uh, backstory on the world. Um, I need to remember. I have a bunch of factoids in my brain that I don't remember where they all of them came from. The city by now. What do you um, think it's like? But I trust that they are canonical. Your even if I don't remember spy. exactly what the source was. We'll see for ourselves in time. One of the things Indeed. is that the question of when. I can't believe the crystal's gone. Um, the bastards took it all. The, we'll take it back. This is far from over. So Noctis is now 20. The burning of Tenebrae happened 12 years ago, so he would have only been about eight, which means that he was attacked at about eight, which means that I think the... Uh, the, which means that t the storytelling portion of A King's Tale must have happened before then, probably seven, maybe even six. Um, but it is worth noting that there w is an old war that preceded the current war with Niflheim that started 12 years ago when they attacked Tenebrae that happened about 30 years previous. So started about 10 years before Noct was born and just before Ravis was born as well it looks like um and so the when we go to the fort fort the forts the the infiltration missions later on and it just like it's a remnant of the old war well the old war is only 30 years old which isn't that far long it's not that long ago but on the other hand 30 years is a long time ago i should know and this must be the outpost sid mentioned <sighs> you come in looks here like a hub for honors maybe they know something find Monica your highness I'm glad you're safe Monica where are all the others most of the crowns guard didn't make it it was all we could do to escort Lady Iris out of the city Dustin is with her as we speak seeing her the rest of the way to Lestalem I owe you guys big time head for the royal tomb the marshal awaits She says most of the Crown's Guard didn't make it, which leads me to believe that the writers at least want us as a... That makes me think that the writers want us as an audience to believe that Monica, Dustin, and Cora are the only members of the Crown's Guard left, discounting Ignis, Prompto, and Gladio, obviously. Across the land, Scylla Blossoms from Tenebrae can be seen displayed in memoriam. With no remains to mourn, throngs have gathered in Altitia to pay their respects. Men That's not offering one. prayers at a vigil held before the wedding dress Lady Luna Freya was to wear. While some hold out hope the Oracle still lives, a grim silence continues to linger. Vigil. Not really important as such, but I should have gotten chocobos. That's one thing about New Game Plus is chocobos are already unlocked. First the Crown City, then Hammerhead, then the Royal Tomb? His nickname should have been Kor the Restless. Somehow not as catchy as Kor the Immortal. Making it out of insomnia only adds to his legend. Well, fortune favors the bold. Well, huh? The wise make their own luck. Do you think it's a coincidence he's made it out of all those battles alive? Wonder what drew him to the world too. A morbid curiosity for the rankings of Lucis. Only one way to find out. I don't know why. Yeah. When the speed run goes through there. It's been a while since I paid attention Let's and I've only seen one since. Uh, one in recent memory. But I did go through there, which surprised me. And so why not? Marshall. At last, your highness. Yeah. Wanna tell me what I'm here for? The power of kings passed from the old to the new through the bonding of souls. One such soul lies before you. To claim your forebear's power is your birthright and duty as king. My duty as king of what? King of light. Now is not the time to question your calling. <laughs> A king is sworn to protect his people. And yet he chose to protect only one prince. Was that his calling? Forsake the masses to spare his own son? 
How long will you remain the protected? The king entrusted the role of protector to you. Entrusted it to me? Then why didn't he tell me that? Why did he stand there smiling as I left? Why? Why did he lie to me? That day, he didn't want you to remember him as the king. In what time you had left, he wanted to be your father. <laughs> he always had faith in you, that when the time came, you would ascend for the sake of your people. Your people are all dead. Guess he left me no choice. You don't normally get to see all of those around you because normally you don't have them all, but this is New Game Plus. Okay, which one did we just pick up? I don't ever remember. Sword of the Wise. So this was the Sword of the Wise. But I don't remember then. Um, brief poke into old notes. And. Do, 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 do. We fight. And we fight the mystic. Okay, so we fight the fierce, the rogue, and the mystic. We do not fight the wise. Alright. I was like, I don't think Somnus is the wise because he freaking better not be. Again, he should be the blood traitor. But that's just anyway. And now? That's not the only power your forebears left you. Your journey's just begun. Another tomb lies close by. I suggest you head there next. There are tombs scattered across the land. All are on dangerous ground. I'll go with you. For the time being. Not only to help, but to get a measure of your strength. It's... So, just how many of these powers are out there? There are... It's actually... We come here... Look at core. Look at core and gear. I think yes, we can. See that he is level fifty-two, as opposed to my level one hundred and thirteen. Across my party, sure, but core is the one in charge. New game plus doesn't play well with the. You know, in royal arms, each enshrined at a royal tomb, though we know the location of only a few. I've enlisted the help of the hunters. They comb the land in search of the lost tombs. <laughs> Where's the one nearby you mentioned? Oh, that makes more Keep sense now. Trench. We know. So, um, Styleth Grove? Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah, because I think Castlemark. Castlemark is the name of the dungeon, the big tower, that I think is in Styleth Grove. I could be misremembering that. But the tomb nearby has a note from a hunter saying, Oh, well, the sword seems to have been taken into this creepy dungeon. You'll have to go there to get it. And it always occurred to me as odd that the hunters had um, had left that. But, as I keep forgetting, except this time I caught it, the hunters are on the lookout for tombs. I guess I could put royal tombs in there, because why not? Anyway, um, there's going to be so many notes in here that I'm not going to actually need at all during the there run, because again, it's like four hours, inside the tunnels. and there's three people racing, and most of that's probably going to be spent focusing on the run itself. Uh, I'm feeling a bit choppy, so just for... Oh, no, apparently I can't save here. Never mind. Long years ago, we waged a fierce battle here against the Empire. It all went to ruin. And after that, the Empire moved in like it owned the place. Okay. Other things to look at. How old is Kor? Kor Leonis. I think he's like 54? 
45, I was backwards. Based on information from... Uh, based on information from Dual Strokers? I don't know. Where did they get their information? Wait, what is this? Okay. Stop, ba, 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 ba. Yesterday, too thick. Final Fantasy XV Ultimania guidebooks were released in Japan. Ah! I wasn't aware of this. Well, I need to get my hands on those. Even if they're Japanese only. I really need to learn Japanese. I've also got the uh, comic anthologies that are Japanese only that I need to learn to read. Um... But a Tumblr, Tumblr user has provided a few translations. I'm going to just keep adding ages here. Uh, Aranea is 30. Sydney. That's... Her name is Sydney, not Sydney. Not sure why it's written that way. 26 and core is 45. The Iris, Erinae, and core were supposed to become playable via the final multiplayer DLC. That didn't happen. Because all of that got. Um, all of that got uh, struck when they decided not to do that. Interesting. I need to actually get my hands on a lot of that Ultimania content because I didn't realize it was a thing. Shows how good I am at any of this. I'm hoping that a lot of it might come out in the. I don't like the look of those dump. numbers. Numbers alone don't decide. Is that the name of the. What you lack in numbers, you make up for in tactics. Come on. Come on. Get past there. I think New Dawn is the name of the DLC pack that got cancelled, and we only ever saw Episode Arden. That they're turning into a novelization now. And maybe a lot of this Ultimania content will be translated into ways. English for that, but who knows. Take this key. It unlocks the doors to the other tombs. Seek them out and lay claim to the power they hold. You'll need it. And what will you do? Keep an eye on the Nifs. Find out what they're up to. But you Skip should this. focus on your own task. I will. You take care. Here we go. Keep it real, huh? Huh? Look! There's a door. What There's, is this place? I, need, I don't it know. To have been a show. Huh. What's this? A cable? Don't like the look of that ceiling. Yeah, long overdue for some TLC. Sure. I know Open that the up. movement mechanics in a dungeon are different than the movement mechanics outside of a dungeon. I don't remember if jumping is still the fastest ah, I hate that noise. in a dungeon Boy, or if it cha has you. changed to uh, <gasps> Can running. You see that? So uh, giving up the chase? I personally don't mind either way. Give it up then. There's a lot of interesting things that happen with the voice acting in this game. Because, as expected, they don't just have all the voice actors in the room talking uh, talking to each other. And also, they don't give the, the voice actors a very good idea of what the lines are all for, where they're supposed to happen. So, for example, oh. there's a line that Prompto gives after this fight. And I'll bring it up again there, uh, or I'll point it out when we get there. Sorry, went right past the door. That the way he says it, you Wait, expect ooh, something more epic promising. to be happening. Ominous sort of way. But it just isn't because, well, that's not what's happening at that point. So this Arachne fight is Whatever that is, slightly challenging, apparently, disgusting. in the speedrun. And that's that. <sighs> Took me one warp strike because overpowered. But as we come through here, this Prompto's delivery here. Hey! 
That's huh. weird. The hell? Uh, a little bit less so Gladio's, kind of, but Prompto's delivery there specifically makes it sound like you missed seeing a creepy something rather than just a, that hole is weird, which is how the line is meant to be read, I'm sure. But based on context, I assume, I guess. This is the Axe of the Conqueror. Um, but yeah, that's just weird artifacts that you get when A, the voice directors themselves don't necessarily know where the voice lines are supposed to fall or what kind of intonation they're supposed to have, especially in a translated thing. So Noct borrows the old king's powers. More or less. More or less. At this rate, he'll soon rival his father's legacy. The copycat king, Adeline. Well, what's it like? Hmm. Like I've got some tricks up my sleeve. No need to put on a magic show for us. But it never hurt to practice. Huh? Did not have a return to entrance pop up. That's when there was a return to entrance pop up. Whatever. Um. Yeah, that's just uh, uh, uh the world of voice acting is interesting because there are so many voice actors that I really respect. I respect their work, respect the work that they do, and yet, whenever I... that There are certain performances of theirs that I just can't stand because they just don't sound good. And that's not necessarily the actor's fault. I tend to put the blame on the directors in most cases, yeah. but even they Finally don't always know. But I lost another king. <sighs> you just literally sent him down into a also. cave. Good to hear. I have a task for you. The Empire's begun construction of a new base along the road west to the sky. I need you to put it out of commission. If left unchecked, it will cost us access to the west and all the royal tombs that lie beyond. I believe you've met Monica. She can fill you in on the details. Go see her. What's up? Uh, people to see, bases to burn. Let's go see Monica at the outpost. I believe once I get far enough out of here, I should be able to return to car would be the fastest way to get to Monica, and I don't think there's anything important, any dialogue or random cutscenes that I'll be missing on the way there. This thing like that. It ain't gonna be easy taking down a whole stronghold. Can we really do this? The Marshal believes we can, or he wouldn't have asked us. But first things first. Right. Right, she's around this corner. Let's head first. back to the outpost. Your Highness... The Marshal has apprised me of the plan. We've found a back door into the Imperial base. I'll mark the route on your map. The way is secure. You should be able to gain entry relatively easily. I don't remember if we have to talk to Monica there or not. I do know that there's not... There's definitely not a... Coincidence that the direct route to the thing takes you right over a haven. They definitely planned that when they put this haven here. Or put Monica where she was, or hey, so any of it, all of it, who knows? A servant of the Crown's Guard, my gladiator and myself. And She's Prompto! My father's best, along with Dust, who's guarding my sister. Hmm. Do we still have people we can count on outside the city? Let me see, get let's, let's actually look at my loadout real quick. One second. I have the Axe of the Conqueror to make things super powerful. That just ups your attack. I have Ragnarok, because those are big hits. I have Sword of the Father. Why do I have Sword of the Father? Why did I decide Sword of the Father? Uh, makes the Great greater. Just gives me more strength. Okay. Why Plumes of the Vortex? I mean... Inflict great aerial damage and reduce aerial MP consumption. That sounds boring. Why not just use his will cross blades? They're arguably more powerful, but what I think I actually want here. Oh, I don't have the air step sword. Interesting. That's an oversight that I should fix. Cool. Let's swap in those little crossblades here. Because yeah. they hit harder. Yeah! I don't know why I had the clues of the vortex there, I'll be honest. Whatever. I also need to get Nyx of Curry's. But that's a process in themselves. 
Prince Noctis, please join the Marshal up ahead. The rest of you will assist me in the diversionary effort. It's very tempting to want to skip all of this. I'll see you guys later. You go give them hell. We'll do the same on our end. It is interesting that, uh, especially based on a King's Tale and uh, uh, stories for just from his friends that we see in game, that the royalty, although they have been locked in insomnia for the last 12 years because, you know, Niflheim, they still have a habit of going out and doing things themselves. Like the Regis, Regis' story is about him going and beating up Ultras we're in, basically on we his own. launch our ambush, pushing out while support pushes in, crushing the enemy from both sides. I have speed here. Do do. Just kind of go through here quickly. Yeah. Ah! What? That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go on this guy. That's why I had my camera facing that way, game. Oh, there's a two more. Hey! Ah! I'm not even breaking a sweat or my MP bar. Yeah! So there was an interesting bug a, a while back about the time when I stopped playing seriously. You know I'll enjoy it while where. I can. Above us. It, it stops storing my keybinds, and I don't know. It, it, it is fixed now. I, where, when I loaded up, I had my it had my keybinds that I need to play the game the way that I want to because, again, I have a lot of stuff bound to my mouse. Um, what I'm unsure of is whether the fix was restoring to an old keybind. Or yeah, if somewhere yeah. along the line I had um, set it in there good enough that it had just kept it. I feel like it's restored to an old keybind because I never remembered exactly what I had set. It just feels exactly correct. Not just a little correct. Yeah. Snipers, snipers all over the place getting in the way. Makes things very slow when I have to fight all the Walk snipers. Through the park. So it should be. Otherwise you'd only get in everyone's way. Could have gone it alone if I wanted. That he mentality could've. could prove your undoing, Highness. Yeah, whatever. I just enjoy fighting with you, Matt. I mean, Core. Who is definitely just Matthew Mercer's straight up regular voice. Not! Marshal, it's good to see you again. All right on your end? Right as rain. The Nifs couldn't take their eyes off us. Thanks to you, we were spared their attention. Stay right where you are. Well, well, if it isn't Core the Immortal. So, you survived the Citadel. So? But you won't survive what I have in store for you. It's past time your legend Loki. came to an end. Loki has personal beef with Core, though we don't actually know why. Just know that he does. I'm going all out. Just don't get too carried away. You want to talk? Would you? Would you? There we are. I cannot be defeated. No, this can't be happening. <laughs> just the one hit. It was just the one hit. I was expecting to have to hit him more. Oh, I love New Game Plus. Seeing you in action puts my mind at ease. It's clear I don't need and pause. So here's the thing about New Game Plus is, yes, things like this are made much simpler. One hit, they're basically dead. Um, but there is so little in this game that is sped up just by being faster in battles. There are, there are some things. There are some battles that can drag on. Um, and there are some battles, but there are other battles where just hitting hard isn't enough. The entire battle with Leviathan, for example... You're, when we get there, you're going to see it still takes me probably 20 minutes to get through that stupid fight because I just don't understand it. I don't understand how you get her to her second form and you're supposed to skip the second phase and go straight to the third. I don't understand it. But 
Uh, in addition to that, there are just a bunch of things that are just small movement mechanics and optimizing uh, two or three things here or there, optimizing your routes through different dungeons. And so the New Game Plus version, even as stupid overpowered as this character is right now, is not really faster, especially not with me at the helm, but even with people who know the game very well, or know the run very well, is not necessarily faster to do New Game Plus than it is to do... Uh, or is not extremely faster to do New Game Plus than it is to do just regular New Game any percent. That might... Be just be because nobody runs New Game Plus. Everybody runs No Ring, which is any percent, but without the ring. Um, or, or, but yeah, with, without using the Ring of the Lucii, because Ring of the Lucii is mostly random, and you hate to have just random tank your run at the end. But the there hasn't been a lot of effort put into making the New Game Plus route optimized for the fact that you are in a New Game Plus. You have things like chocobos. You can get things like... You can get whatever weapon you want in the entire game. You just have to have your save set up correctly. And so, with that in mind, I'm sure there is more time that could be taken off for New Game Plus and other things that could be figured out. But at current, the New Game Plus route is just any percent but with more power. So the fights go slightly better, but for the most part, it's to the worry same. anymore. I'll return to watching the NIFs. Till next time, take care. This is perfectly safe. Just walk down the middle of a road. Ain't so bad out here once you get used to it. Still With the car just seen, driving though. next and to you. And a lot for us to do. <sighs> yeah. Buck up. We're just getting started. The car is literally right next to you. Why are you walking? <sighs> anyway. Um. Do, 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 do. I guess I could put this here just because it's interesting to note. And then we're getting to chapter three. Um. We'll get through this screen in a second. So after the Axe of the Conqueror, we can say um, the Empire is blockading many roads, including all access to the sky region. So for wants to deal with that. Sure. That explains what's going on there. Um, ooh, I actually really dig that picture. Uh, it's Monica. I don't really care. It's just a random shot of knocked shoulder. Loki. <laughs> Moving on. Actually, really nice picture. I like it a lot. I like it. it. In words. Me and words gooding. Chapter 3, The Open Road. The Empire is a powerful foe, and Noctis has far to travel before he can hope to reclaim the crystal. He sets out across new lands in search of the power of his forebearers. Um, this will be a place to talk about the open world. Uh, there'll also be a chance in here to talk about... Well, not necessarily a chance in here, but this is where I'll keep the notes on them. To talk about the six. Which I think I might just copy and paste this stuff here. Yeah, we will. Just whoop. Copy. So, the prince eludes death. And what of the elusive ring? Eluna Freya has absconded with it. Find and kill her. The ring is the final piece. We may do well to take her alive. The Six wields power beyond our imagination. The Oracle holds the key for the king. Still, you're creepy and you need to She die. could unlock many secrets. Nay, I 
Commander. Lord Ravis, the Imperial Army is now at your disposal. A moot point, while the fugitives remain at large. My men and I will continue our search for the Prince and the Oracle. So glorious. My crystal. Yeah, he old this is crazy. <laughs> Which actually Look out. worth writing down, so give me a second. Um let me write down the odds. The six gods of Eos. And a couple of other things in there. Okay. Uh, the Emperor of uh, Ravis now controls the Imperial armies and Emperor Yodolus all dirt apt is crazy. To Arden. I spell Yodolus and Alder capped correctly. I spelled them correctly enough that Google can't figure out what it, what I'm trying to say and fix it. Okay. Let's resume. Here we come. We just we walked by here. Dust bowl behind. The lands beyond are vast by comparison to lead. Bigger's better. Look, it's do. Cub Noodle. First comes to so we have a little bit of wetlands. really wetlands. There's also a chocobo forest. Now we're talking. A little bit of control of Iggy. West, seems to be fighting me right region, now, though. Wherein we'll find the town of Lestalum. Oh, I guess I don't have control of him right now. Is um, but in certain Mind dragon delay, segments, we have a little bit of control of Iggy, and we can now. kind of pull him out to go Maybe around other vehicles, the meteor, um, which is important right now because, the same, the same, again, in New Game Plus, the car is fully upgraded. Whoa. It will travel at its fastest, which means it gets stuck behind slow-moving vehicles like this. Uh, but now we're at the core next station. It'll be a long drive. Best fill up the tank before we set out. Also, we don't use gas at all. Definitely don't use gas. At and all. I believe we have a solid lay of the land now. The driver's seat is yours, Noct. If you so desire it. Well, what could this be? Hello? Um, Noct? Iris? It's really you. So good to hear your voice. Everything's fine over here. We managed to make it to Lestalem. We just settled into our new digs. So yeah, let me know when you're coming so we can meet up. Yeah, will do. You better. Was that Iris? <laughs> Can't even call her own brother. Yeah, right? In all fairness, yours wasn't the obituary broadcast all over Lucis. So does make sense. She say anything about me? Did you see that sign? Chocobos! Chocobos! Uh, no time for that. Need to get to Lestalem. Oh, Chocobos it's are still so ages cute, though. Away. Come on, just a quick visit! Oh, to actually be in-game to click. First things first. Lestalem. All right, but next time we check out the Chocobos. Oh. Uh, we can come over there and go over there and talk to who's the face. Um, we are going to map point, actually. This is one point where keyboard and mouse fails us a little bit because it's not great. Uh, going I don't there. Because their implementation of controlling uh, the map isn't Ignis, good. Little cover here. Uh, and so I actually have to take my hands off WASD to a completely different set of keys in order to scroll around the map for no good reason. But whatever. All right, so interesting things that, uh, this is one of the longer driving sections in the game. Um, it'll be a spot, uh, in the relay, it kind of depends on where they're all landing and how close they are to each other, whether or not we get before, to talk before, but is Ebony really all that good? I might have answered before, um, but yes, it is. But it'll be an interesting place to talk about some of the mechanics, to talk about uh, how the runs are going, a few things like that. But it's also a spot, and this is why I've put this information so this oh. is the infamous disc. 
Hey, Noct! Don't you want to get a shot at you in the meteor? so slow right now. There's also just a couple of things that you have uh, to actually interact with. Not right now. Oh, come on. But that's on. why I put in the information of the six when? right here. Because as they talk about the meteor, this is the time to be like, okay, so here's the meteor, also called the Astral Shard. It is literally a meteor that crashed to Earth and was caught by Titan, who is the Archean, the land forger. He is um, the Earth. He's the uh, big old bulky guy. We'll get to meet him later and take his hand off for no good reason. But he is only one of the six. The others uh, in the Pantheon are Rama, the Storm Sender, also known as the Fulgarian, who commands storms and rains and such. We also go on a fetch quest for him. We have Leviathan, the Tide Mother, also called the Hydrian. They all have three names for some reason. Um, and we meet and fight her uh, later on in the game as well. Um, then we have Shiva, the Galatian, the Frostbearer. So Nox, who has I haven't taken pics of whatever um, catches my eye. An interesting and important bit of backstory. Because she, uh, let's do prompto. Why not snap a few shots of yourself for a change? <laughs> like a selfie? I guess I could do that. And you gotta close that window to continue on. It's kind of annoying. You can't just get up and leave here because there are always those two bits of dialogue. Um, she has an important bit of info, uh, bit of backstory, um, with actually Ifrit, the Infernian or the Pyre Burner, who... As you kind of get, kind of probably got the source of all of these kind of have a different elemental affiliation, as it were. Um, uh, but then just to round out the six real quick, Bahamut, the Draconian, the Blade Keeper, kind of the leader, the ruler of... Why are we stopping here? That guy's going the other direction. Really, Ignis? Such thing as being too careful. Um, kind of the, the leader of the six. Um, and just an all-around asshole. Do not like him. Just pretentious prick who has problems. Oh, boy. Um, but Shiva and Ifrit, very interesting. Um, there is a thing uh, that may have come from the meteor. Uh, I think it actually canonically did come with the meteor, but I'm not 100% certain. Several millennia ago. It's called the Star Scourge, and that is the, the blackness that we saw that one weird creature in the beginning that Dave asked us to kill. It was infected with the scar Star Scourge. It's when we like fight we're demons, to another dimension. they're infected with the Star Wonder Scourge. The Star I'm Scourge not. is the bad of, of this game. Um, and it apparently came on the meteor? Why is that in there? I thought that was speculation, but apparently no, that's, that's actually canon somewhere. I would not have written it down in the list that I copied and pasted it out of otherwise. Um, wow. Nice. This place is and pretty big. So, some 30-ish years ago, got a cable car. yes, about Don't the like time of the leads. Old War, um, Afrit and Shiva are lovers. They, they, they are a couple. Um, and about 30 years ago, something happened to Afrit where he became infected with the Star Scourge. And that trauma because it was traumatic, woke up Shiva, the Galatian. And she, seeing that, it wasn't only that, though. I think that was actually 12 years ago, because I think that was right after they burned Tenebrae as well. I need to look into that more. So that couldn't have been 30 years ago. That must have only been 12. So something about that woke Shiva up, and then she was around. And then when Tenebrae burned... And the Oracle, who, well, Sylvia was the Oracle, then she died, and then Luna became the Oracle, um, prayed for help, relief, something. Um, Shiva responded by going to wipe out the Empire, marching on the Imperial capital uh, in Niflheim, um, which I'm sure I have written down somewhere, but I don't remember what the heck it's called right now. Um... But she wasn't successful. She actually lost. The Empire killed her, and her dead body is still in the same spot they left her because it's freezing cold and it's just perpetual blizzard around her. But she is dead. And that just emboldened the Empire. And that's kind of what kicked off and started and led the big push that the Empire has now. 
Um, it's been helped and emboldened by the fact that the one of their researchers, who we don't learn too much about in the game in proper, we learn a lot about him in Prompto's DLC, uh, Versel Bastidia. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. Um, uh, experiments with the Star Scourge and kind of knows how to control it. And so they have demons on their side a lot of the time because they can control them. And that's that's the world that we're in now. That That's a good portion of what has led to the Empire being as aggressive as they are because they're emboldened by the fact that they literally killed one of the six, the one of the most powerful beings in existence. They have bested in combat. And so now they are marching across the entire world to take it over. And, yeah, and as part of that takeover plan, there's Insomnia. And Insomnia has great power. Ignis, pull over a sec. Certainly. Um, great power in the crystal and the ring. It should be a nice the change crystal, of pace. which was gifted to men by, uh, I think I may be crashing. No? Good. I'm concerned about it, though. Ugh, why are we so choppy right now? I don't know, but let's save before bad things happen. Uh, the crystal and the ring and the trident of the oracle, actually, were all gifted to man by uh, Bahamut um, around the time the Star Scourge happened to help them combat the Star Scourge. And the crystal chooses the kings of Lucius. The oracle is passed down through the generations and uh, the bloodline of the oracle of the Nox Flores. Um, I mean, the king, the crystal, choose, always chooses of the line of Lucius for the kings of Lucius as well. Um, and then the ring of the Lucii kind of stores the powers of the different kings to be used in time of great need. Oh, wow, this is nearly unplayable right now. I don't know why. I don't have a ton going on on my computer right now. Let me just get rid of some of it, though. If we get rid of this, that will probably help. You can stay open. You are just one tab now, so that should be better. If I continue to have issues with it, though, then I might... Need to find a different way to do that whole thing, but I have a plan for that. It just would take time to implement, so it's not happening right now. Um. So yeah, that's the that's the state and of the world right now. Cave number one. Why? It's a terror-filled vacation in darkness. Sweet. We won. I love Prompto. I really do. He's just such a sweetheart. Yeah. This place gives me goosebumps. Oh, Double good. back for our coats. What's the... Well, looking on the bright side, maybe the cold keeps the demons yeah, at bay? because monsters like I... you... There is a correct way to go through this, and I do not know the trick. Nope, didn't get it. Shoot. That means we're going to have more fights. You things love demons. Let's get it over with. That's unfortunate. So then we come... Nothing to it. Here, right? So much for a little chill. Ooh. Oh, I got an ice cream headache. Without the ice cream, Another slide Again. down. Really? Oh, what in the world was that? That was weird physics, is what that was. Fight Spider Bay here. Apparently, it takes more than one hit to kill her, unlike the sister that we killed in the previous dungeon. I don't know. Um. And again, I only very recently no bumps. Uh, watched a, I'm going to say modern, but a, a recent speedrun on this. Last time I had paid a ton of attention to the speedrunning community for the game was honestly back in 2018 when, uh, when I was getting ready for the run at RPG Limit Break. Um, it does mean that there is a strat in here. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. 
Well, here we are. Showtime! Uh, not a fan yeah, of mushy dessert here. Every sign of attack. Plow right through them. I'll circle around then. Yes. Yes, this is perfect. I can never remember my way through this stupid cave. Yes, around here. Mighty Mo. We're catching cold. So here we go. Uh, skip that get you around this crawling section just to go faster. I don't know the first thing about it. I know it exists. I wouldn't give for a hot I don't know any of the strats to line it up or do it correctly. I am going to try, however, a strat to avoid having to fight the mind flayers in here. Get the camera in, and then if we stick... I said just I was told just stick to the right. Can it ever be easy? Never. Where's the fun here, in that? And open the door. And yeah, we just bypass that whole fight with the mind flayers, which is like three waves of annoying enemies. So that's nice. Then we'll come in here, we'll pick up the sword of no, this isn't the sword of anything, is it? it? Looks more like a glaive, honestly. What are you? I could probably skip. This is a cutscene that can be skipped, and it's not really important to see it every time, so I probably should, but... Eh. Armager now exists. That's the Swords of the Wanderer. Which I think is the last. No, it's not, because we pick up the one in the disc. You okay? What did I... Where was that? What is it? A hole in the ground. Something burning. The meteor? You saw the disc of Kothis. Oh, the disc of Kothis. That's right. Let's write that down someplace. Uh, the disc of Kothis. Sure, we'll say that. Hey, there's some lore down here. What does this lore say? Rayshire Glacial Grotto. Fabled Waterfall Cave. Tucked behind Catalian's Plunge. There's a sword in the stone back here. Two swords, actually. Actually, I kind of want to um, equip them just to look at them real quick. Let's get rid of both crossblades. Let's go... Swords of the Wanderer. Yeah, see, they split. They split apart. Let's kill some crabs real quick. Um. Always got each other's backs, right? You know it. The hunt is on. Impressive. Takes two. Get lost. Get lost. No. Here goes Thanks. nothing. And I got health or something. Let's return to the car. All right, so now we hop in the car. We auto our way to a parking spot, which is Stalin. No, nope. Gornick Station, because we can fast travel there. And then for some reason, we can't just go straight to the Laville. 
because heaven forbid the game actually you know be smart enough to realize that you've hit the a later story point than the one that it wants you to be at whatever it's fine i'm not bitter you're bitter i'm very bitter i'm a very bitter watermelon anyway um what was i talking about anyway so yeah there's anyway is my common turn of I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. Oh, the Magitek exosuit. Yes, I wanted to go look at that. Now I see it. See that you buy no more than we need. Sheesh. Brought up here. You're my mother or something? Mum's the word. Let's really quickly just -do 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 -do. gear, knock this, put on the Magitek exosuit. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's definitely a variation of what Glauco is wearing in Kingsglaive. Very cool. Princess fatigues. Because, yeah, there's a back alley just to show it off, just because it's so annoying. There's a back alley right here through which we can go to the Laville where Iris is. But she's not here, and we can't go up the stairs to meet her. I want to ride my chocobo all day. Oh. Can't get it out of my head! Because first we have to come to the center of the stalem. See, they... What is that? I was just peeling paint. It looked like graffiti. See, they were smart enough to realize that players... They uh, are smart enough to plan for the f an idea that players would go to... Italians plunge and yeah, get that sword before they come to La the first time. Crowd. Well, this must be the main thoroughfare. But not enough to realize that she's at the Laville. Let's go. Not enough to give us the option to go to the Laville first and not have to stop in the middle of the friggin' town for no good reason, except that that's where Gladio happens to pull out his phone and text his sister. Whoa! Did you feel that? You oh, because it wants you to hit this trigger. Uh, what's wrong? My head just started throbbing. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Cool. That's what's happening now. Oh, shoot. How long have I not updated this? Oh, I feel bad now. We're in chapter three now. Gladdy! Iris. I feel look real silly guys, just leaving that sitting on the screen for however long. What can I say? You look good. Another random magic considered. class. I probably have so many you of these now. You guys are staying here, right? That's the plan. When you have time, we have catching up to do. Sure. Sheridan Talcott, is it good to see you? Prince Noctis! Iris is safe with me! 23, Iris is 15. Please excuse my grandson. So that's he has yet to about learn eight years manners. difference. I like it. Your Highness is very kind, but we shan't impose. A very good night to you, Your Highness. supposed to care about them so iris what was it like inside the crown city not Dude. pretty the citadel took a beating i feel like this is recently added in but a lot of outlying neighborhoods made it through in one piece the All empire these bits had from king's Glaive that i don't remember having you know, been in here before anything else you can ask me yeah uh thanks <clears throat> uh what so about Lady Luna Freya. I keep hearing she was in town. <laughs> Apparently she left right away. But at least it means she's okay. <sighs> good to hear. Thanks. Yeah, well, get a good night's rest. It is worth noting that the boys had no idea that she was alive before right this second, so. 
like they probably assumed, seeing as they themselves were uh, pronounced dead. But what happened here? Like, the game tried to take a selfie, but put the camera too close to Prompto's model, so he just went away. Ooh, I like that, though. That's a good look. An ooze. Plants. Prompto. Prompto. More Prompto, because I asked for Prompto. Garden Talcott. Iris. Really badly shaded Iris. I can't play this game at very high. Again, my com poor computer can't handle but, uh, but yeah. So sometimes things just look sad. The next morning. Morning, sleepyhead. Morning. Where is everyone? Oh, they're out walking with Talcott. They went to see the sights. We should too. Decline, because that's better for some that reason. I need some more shut eye. More? It may be a good idea to take in the sights while housekeeping cleans your room. Yes, that's exactly right. Come on, I'll show you around. Who are you, Jared? One second. Um, archives. Dossiers. Jared, who are you? Cordial and courteous retainer who has attended House Amicidia for many years. Having worked in service of Claris, senior advisor to the crown, he also enjoys great familiarity with the royal family, including Prince Noctis. Jared managed to escape the crumbling crown city and take refuge in Lestalem. He is a man of great erudition and takes copious notes on all sorts of ancient legends, then shares them with his grandson, Talcott. Um, let me see. Jared was beloved by all. Spoilers. Not only for his gentle demeanor, but also for his fierce determination. He took great pride in serving House Amicidia, a family that has given birth to countless crowns, god, captains, and shields of the king over the years. Even in his old age, when he could barely walk without aid, Jared stood stalwart in the face of Commander Caligo Uldor's imperial intimidation and proved himself a defender of the crown in his own right. Good for him. You see Talcott. Grandson of Jared Hester. The Hesters. Jared and Talcott. Hester. Retainer to House Amicidia. Gladio Glad Gladiolus and Iris view him as something of a little brother, doting on him and watching him grow over the years. With Monica and Dustin's assistance, he fled the Crown City in the wake of the Imperial Assault. Now he spends his days in the Stullum. Trying to find some way he can support his idol, Prince Noctis. Talcott's heart is broken by the tragic death of his grandfather. Yet time heals all wounds. And before long, he's once again working hard to make himself useful to the prince. A paragon of decorum, Jared instilled within young Talcott a staunch stoicism far beyond his years. Only when the topic of conversation turns to his favorite colorful cactuar statuettes does Talcott truly act his age. Good. Um, oh, we're here. Uh, where is the Bennu? Not jump, giant Bennu. A subspecies of zoo, dubbed the Blue Ring Terror due to the, the hue of its plumage. Much like the zoo, it flies in from afar during breeding season. Although considered a threat, the Bennu is a relatively low priority target for the hunters due to the infrequency with which it appears and the risk of intense retaliation should the hunt fail. Let's lead to Skya. What did I miss in lead? Interesting. I have freaking Jormungandr, but I don't have whatever this random is. Very interesting. Apparently I need to fill out my bestiary. Um, but in Disgaea, I'm interested in the, um, it's not in Clane, is it? Might be in Clane. I don't think it's in Clane. Um, 
interested in the yeah zoos up there well maybe no niflheim the demons the oh it's a demon that's where it is oh <laughs> look arden's in here as the demon the man who was to be the first king of lucius assuming the burden of the star scourge borne by his subjects corrupted the chosen's body causing the crystal to deny his ascendance to the throne Arden's impurities grant him eternal life, which he spends plotting his revenge against upon the blood of the royal and true king. Well, oh, the mystic, the rogue. Um, so I'm looking at the mystic, trying to decide if it's the same one. I think it is, actually. I think the mystic is one of the ones that was guarding, or that we saw beating people up in... Uh, and who's what's it? Bar Nagrini. Nagrini, that's one? The Crest Home Channels. No. Serpent Tests? Also Mark Tower. No, the Naga. Uh, here we are. A demon, th this is important later in the game, but since I'm here right now, I figured I'd look at it. A demon with the body of the snake and the face of a human, it coils itself around its prey and spits a special venom to turn them into a frog. A naga capable of understanding human speech was discovered several decades ago in Disguise, so the fearful townspeople drove it back and sealed it within the walls of Foshaw Hollow. It's been there for decades, poor thing. Anyway, this is all about the Hesters, and we're supposed to care about them they are retainers to House Amicitia. Good. Okay. Now we're going on a date with a 15-year-old. For our first stop, we'll check out the marketplace. Follow me right this way. Oh, you're very far ahead of me. <sighs> it's even more beautiful out here at night. <sighs> This is the Partella Market. You can get almost anything here. <laughs> Isn't it great? I'd buy out the whole place if I could. Again, for some reason, it's all the rude answers really? here in the... That's nice. Could you at least pretend to be excited? Uh, that help in the speedrun, because they're the ones that give you AP. Look at all this neat stuff. I'm gonna take a look. Give me just a sec. Do, do, do. Done. Next, we're gonna see the power plant. She... She buys the Moogle charm here, which is interesting. Because she gives it to you. And never once in my literal hundreds of hours playing this game have I ever needed to use it. And I don't play on easy. That's the power plant. The driving just, force behind Lestal's prosperity. The game prosperity. is not as difficult as it likes to think it is, I but assume. this. Only women work there. As a matter of fact, women are the ones who do all the work in this town. Sounds like a hard life. Uh, I think it's kind of cool, actually. Depends on how you look at it, I guess. All right. Next, we're going to the Outlook. Yay, Outlook. Woo. I'm a city girl, but... This... Charm. This huh? whole sequence is just uh, kind of boring of all of the time because Iris is not an interesting character. They almost tried. <laughs> you would told... Any attempt they made to make her an interesting character was to make her also in love with Noct, even though she knows that he's going to get married. And that's not an interesting character trait. That's not a good character. Also, she's 15. But whatever. Imagine taking one for a spin. Oh yeah. Have to avoid some lady somewhere with a thing. Pegler Outlook. Amazing view, right? Look, there's the meteor. It certainly is. You know, Noct. This almost feels like a date. If it were, your brother would kick my ass. <laughs> We better keep it quiet then. You're 15! You already have Lady Luna Freya. That too! 
I have strong feelings about Iris and her being a bad character. <sighs> the breeze feels so good. <sighs> it's technically in my party now, right? I do anything about her gear. I could try and get her clips up higher. Apparently, I need to spend more time with her on that. But, eh, maybe if I. Oh, poo. I did not mean to open this up. So, I guess not during this playthrough, but maybe one in the future when. Let's see if the others are back. I wonder if we could have just wandered out of town and started fighting things here. Had fun like this I've never tried to do that because I want to get done with the date Thanks, as quickly Mac. as possible because it's so awkward. I was wondering. Because again, what was it you bought today? <laughs> you did always notice. The You're literally been like that since blood you were little. Blood bonded. Anyway, the thing I bought today. Uh, bodyguard. It's for you. But it's a surprise, so you're gonna have to wait. Oh, mother, excuse me. Um, yeah, hey, hey, your bodyguard, back. who doesn't really, didn't Talk really want to be your bodyguard, but had to because of you necessities of blood and not being able to respect. get away from Whoa, no need to duties me. presented at birth for both of you. you found behind the waterfall? It is the same sword yeah, as him. the one from the legend in His this little town. sister has a crush on you. Made its way I'm not. To local Pardon me. That makes you a living legend, huh? Yeah. Thanks for the And story, when we say Talcate. little sister, we mean she's 15. <sighs> not again. What's the matter? You all right? He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the Outlook. We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nock's condition. One thing that um, I'm actually going to write down now that I expect that they want you to just know about for some reason is that access to the disc is blocked is uh, restricted by the by an empire blockade can't get over it can't get through it better go around it so that's why huh where do you want to go like i feel like what they want to have happen, the series of events they want to occur, is you get into the sky finally, you come up to Lestalem, meet Iris, do this whole really awkward date, then uh, Talcott tells you to go to the waterfall, you go to the waterfall, you get the sword, then you start having headaches about the disc. And so maybe you just go and examine the disc on your own as an open world adventure, even though there's not a quest telling you to go there, but sure, you should go in there and then you see that it's locked. So then you come back to the Stalem. But I don't know anybody who's ever done that. Mostly because it seems like a waste of time. We do need to avoid the over here so we don't get the... Um, the lady with the cello there creates a cutscene. What a coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aren't nursery rhymes curious things? Like this one, from the deep the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears the god's tongue falls, the king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. Bien. I don't know. We take a ride. But watch our backs. Fair enough, let's do it. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please call me Arden. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pale. So there is a save and load here that could skip this whole walking animation, but I kind of want to hear what he says, so we're going to save, stick with it. 
next to your regalia, but she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we? Where is this car right now? Is it behind the truck? It's behind Did the truck. you see that truck. over there, Noct? What about it? No. Oh, this is such a long walk, and he stopped talking a while ago. Does she have a name? Vixen? Just a big old lead on the back. because I don't remember where everything is, honestly. So, okay, so this area over here is lead. I thought this was clean. Well, I was wrong. So yeah, this area over here is lead. Then we have Disgaea. The clean region is basically this. Vesperpool and Disgaea are in Clane. I think Vesperpool is in Clane. So yeah, Clane is Ravito, Vesperpool, Disgaea is the middle, and Lead is Hammerhead Desert area. Okay, I had those misremembered oh, by a lot. Boy, howdy, there's a lot of a lot of. Uh, sub quests or uh, side quests i've forgotten how many i mean there's only like seven but still all set yes let's drive with arden to allow the allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver i choose you all yours Ignis. come now he always drives be a friend and let him rest for a change. This whole exchange is just strange. You drive and I don't your understand car it. and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. They just really, really wanted Noctis to be the one driving here, and they figured the only way for that to make sense was to make Arden force him to do it. It doesn't make sense, but sure. Eh? I really like that picture, but I think I already have like three of them, so being on. Uh now we're in chapter four, Living Legend. So let me sheet ready to make notes on. Two. Say this to say chapter four. As the land is rocked by tremors, Noctis is racked with headaches. The self-styled man of no consequences advises the would-be king to he heed the Archean's call, though loath to believe a suspect stranger. The four friends nevertheless find themselves with no recourse but to follow Arden to the Disk of Cothus, where Titan is said to slumber. <sighs> it bothers me to no end that in Kingsglaive, Arden Azunia walks into the throne room Everyone there immediately recognizes him as First Chancellor of Niflheim. And none of the boys do when they first meet him in Golden Key. They have no idea who he is. He's wearing the same freaking coat. Everything about this would have made national news. Really? They don't know who he is. I have some gripes. That's one of my biggest Just to be ones. clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. I and know no where tailgating. I'm going. An accident will spoil the trip. All right, all right. Let's hit the road already. As you wish, drive safely now. Up with Arden's car, or the day will end. Coincidence, huh? Sorry. Way too convenient Keep up with Arden's car or the game will end. I reckon end. he's following us around. Well, nope. But to what end? Nope. That Everything question bothers me doing deeply, properly. as does oh, well. his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. Seriously, though, this button should just do. This button is not doing. 
probably because my poor computer is just not oh, I'd sooner okay. not rely on there him. it is but he it's sort of it for a second way into the disc of Cothus. what's his highness's opinion of this Arden <sighs> don't really have one he's nothing more than a I'm creepy old dude sitting to me here holding the W key <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there this well, is that's such why a game we came game up with play. I don't understand why they required Noctis to drive here it is literally just holding down the trigger or the W key with keyboard and mouse, but just holding down the trigger. There is no gameplay here. It is not engaging. Why is this a thing that they are forcing us to do? Man. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. Okay. I think I've got to work mostly. Anyway. All right, so back to normal. So keep Mark. up with Arden's car or oh, the, the game. Fine for now, but they come without the warning. We wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop sure. if you need to, all right? Uh, that button should not be as laggy as it is, but my poor computer. Yeah. So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants right to camp. Somebody so, else wants, wants a, a proper, proper bed. bed. Nice firm grounds, much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature. What's not to like? Now in the wild, there are no rules to follow. No checkout time. I dare say you had knocked with no checkout time. I'm all for extra sleep. Not saying it's easy, but I envy the hunters. What say we call it a day here? What say we continue on to Carthus? The Archeum's not going anywhere? Neither are we under your stewardship. So we make camp with Arden. Hell no. <sighs> Might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Yes. It's bedtime. This is such a weird thing here. Like, Arden actually has lines in this. He has some responses to Prompto's pictures. So apparently I have yet to stop at a caravan. So that's fun. So yeah. This is just kind of a fun thing where Arden is here with you this evening. The boys have more or less the same uh, oh, that's new. And it freaked Prompto out, but you notice Gladio was just fine. So more or less the same animations as usual. We're going to keep watching this for a second, see if Arden does something weird again. Like, leans into Prompto's personal space. Yeah, but yeah, they're kind of like smiley, a bit happy. There's no, they don't look as guarded as I feel they should. Like honestly, they probably should have pulled some of the animations from the um Well, well, if it isn't yours truly. Uh, if you'd rather not be in photos. Oh, I don't mind at all. Snap away for his highness's collection. Uh, what? Yeah. That's basically the only reason we sat through that, is because I love that voice line. Just randomly should have Arden talking here. Use the beast whistle. Okay. Oh, I am still young. My blood is true. There, there. As my mother before me, I'll work to bring peace to one and all. That marked the ascension of the youngest oracle in history. Is it hard giving blessings? It would be selfish of me to complain of my burden when so many suffer and wait. I hope they trust I will not rest until they all know solace. The world watched on with worry and wonder as the young girl grew. I understand you have a message for us. If you know of any who are bedridden or unable to come to me, pray, send word, and I shall go to them. 
I follow my calling. I will not halt my steps for anything else. In time, her strength would become an inspiration to all. What is your opinion of the treaty? When war has ended, so too will suffering subside. The treaty is a momentous step towards a brighter future. Let there be no doubt. We walk the path of true peace. I hope she's okay, wherever she's headed. Apparently they've heard that she was around too. It's a cutscene that is so easy to miss, which is good for some people, but... Please, set your heart at rest. I shall do what I can to ease your suffering. Lady. So it's interesting here Blessed stars is that of life and light deliver us from darkness blight. Um I don't know what Luna's doing, but it somehow cleanses the Star Scourge. But it must uh, like whatever she's doing is somehow getting rid of that the Star Scourge as opposed to what Arden did. As he was the healer for his people. It's a miracle. Where he would take their Star Scourge and having nothing else to do with it, he would just pu pull it into himself so that they Thank wouldn't have you, it. Lady Luna Freya. Oh, Lady Luna Freya. I left at dawn to come see you. You must be exhausted. A, a fair bit, but more grateful than anything. Let us begin at once. So, yeah, what, however, Luna... Taking her in. Damn right. She could have bunked at my place. Or mine. I'm sure the missus would understand. Don't think being married will give you an excuse not to work out. That came out of nowhere. You can't just let yourself go with the eyes of the world on you. Uh, I don't know about that. He seems to have pulled it off so far. What does that mean? All the more reason he needs to clean up his act now. Excuse Feel sorry you? for Lady Luna Freya if he doesn't. <laughs> He's got you there, Noct. Everyone would be like, Oh, she could do so much better than him. What does the Oracle need the Prince for anyway? <sighs> Imagination run wild much? I'll admit to never have having, having had friends close enough to rib each other like that, but it's still nice to see in game oh. sometimes that, these, that the boys are close enough that they can have those kinds of conversations that sound mean-spirited but among friends those kinds of conversations just aren't Good morning to you <laughs> i should warn you we're about to pass the point of no return yeah we do I that like seven different times over the course of the game thoughts. Whoever thought of tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby. Pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Meteor Almost shots. fell, I should say. But the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any so day for one that interesting matter. complication His with unceasing plus toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguise. Uh, Makes you wonder what the... it's like down there at his feet. In uh, any percent or no ring, uh, but uh, standard new game run. Um, so you know, it's hot where we're going. It's fairly simple well, to pass hard. It's right. fairly simple to pass hard. As long here as now I as well. avoid open flames, um, it should be okay. But if you get too far ahead of Arden, if it the, breaks, leave it in the you car. trigger the oh, no, you're too far away from Arden, it. and Not the game every ends. Every day you get thing. up close and personal with the um, Archean. I in new game, if I the photo op. it Spoken don't really. Like if you get ahead of him, it's mostly fine. In New Game Plus here, where, as I've mentioned, my car is faster you. than well, they normal. Say that. Not me. Well, um, you just do what you got. If I were to get ahead of Arden, I would surpass him so quickly that the game would end really easily. It's kind of hey annoying. Iggy, can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be all right. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, 
Really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. Yeah, see, is then why not take them off sometimes? Well, uh, you don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed, I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah, I think I'm getting the picture now. I'm actually kind of fluttering the accelerator here, not holding it down because I want to make sure Arden doesn't get too hey, far Ignis. behind me. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively, Positively frightening. frightening. What are you saying? That I'm no stranger to his highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. We're here. Better not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really inspire confidence. Yeah, not very straightforward. Hello, it's me. Be so kind as to open up. Wow, that worked? I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? Uh, it's just really quickly. Arden opens the gate. Then pieces out. That's actually... I drop you at the Archean's open door. And with that, bid you farewell. I don't know if it would be possible. I, I I've met some weirdos. I hope we never meet that one again. So the Regalia Type D, the big monster truck variation, um, you can only get in the open world sections by completing a series of side quests for uh, Cindy. What I don't remember offhand is whether or not any of those side quests require access to the Vesper Pool. Because if they don't, then theoretically... Whoa. You could be there, driving through here with the monster truck, which would be much more interesting, I think. Guy really knew his stuff about But I think rides. at least one of them yeah, requires about that. going to the Vesper Pool, which is not unlocked until Chapter Eight, Chapter Seven, excuse me. So we keep going this way, then we'll find out what the Empire is up to. Terrible spot to leave your car. I'm going to do a real quick, and though I'm not apparently, I was going to do a real quick safety save, but I'm in a dungeon, so heaven forbid that I'd be allowed to save. Or go fast These through ruins. running or jumping. We have one speed, and it is this speed. So the fight with the Archean, which is we're getting that into now, it is? Didn't expect to is find a royal tomb here. Would be Interesting. Not to grab that power. Hey, um, let's grab it and go. Partly because, again, I'm bad at video games. I don't actually run this, so I haven't taken the time to learn all the strats and understand all the fights and everything. But as I recall, this fight with the Archean is actually. Oh, okay, what did we just get? Pardon me. The Blade of the Mystic is actually time-based, not damage-based. Get away! Quickly! Oh, this means that this is Somnus. That doesn't make any sense. Knocked. I got you. Come on, pull yourself up. Ah. That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, pause. Thing we need to figure out. The mystic, who we do fight. Yes, who we do fight is Somnus Lucius Kylum, the first king of Lucius, brother to Arden, usurper of Arden's throne because he's a big fat jerk and there's not much good to say about him. Apparently, it's the time of night when my lights turn off. That's fine. Um, I still got the big bright lights, just not the ones behind me anymore. Doesn't matter. 
why was his tomb in the disc of Caiaphas? And beyond that, why is it so beaten up? Like, it almost feels like the tomb was there before the meteor fell, but that absolutely cannot be true if the meteor brought the star scourge. You could also blame it on poor level design and people who don't understand all the stories that are being told or people shoehorning the mystic into being somnus later on. I think that may have happened. Um, but uh, the blade of the mystic, this is the tomb of somnus Ufsis. Hylem, the first king of Lucius and Usur, Usurper slash brother to of Arden. Is that the correct spelling of Calum? I don't remember. But if this is his tomb, it must have been built after the meteor landed, which meant that he has to have his tomb built near the meteor, which we already know the guy was full of himself. Absolute twat. Um, and then it decayed there. What Was the recent shaking that caused it to... Uh, caused it to lose some of itself? Anyway... I don't know, but it's an interesting, interesting factoid. Actually, no, factoids are things that aren't true. Interesting, interesting uh, bit of trivia that that is the tomb of the first king of Lucius. You know, the asshole. Look, it's Titan. Son of man. I didn't catch the rest of it. God damn. This is the Archean? Seems we woke the big guy up. He's trying to tell me something. But what? Sorry, I don't speak astral. Knocked! You okay? Well, thank heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You too. What? We're going where? Don't rush off on this your own. This is... Now. Don't get one of my two least favorite sections of this game. Um, <gasps> They're on edge. Let's not ruffle their feathers anymore. Um, try shutting your beak. Just offering sound. And again, I feel like, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit. We're, I'm talking about the fight, the, the the not the fight really, but the confrontation that Ignis has with, or not Ignis, Gladio has with Noctis here. And I don't know why I dislike it so much. I, part of it is just that I don't like those kind of confrontations in general. Um, but I think uh, another part of it might be because, again, the thing I was complaining about earlier about voice actors doing good jobs, but not having enough context for the lines to be able to make them actually fit the scene properly. And I think that might be part of my issue here. Yeah, like a parrot in my ear. Is, first off, this scene has not been earned. There has not been any... Uh, slowly rising tensions between them. There, it's just out of the blue. Gladio suddenly assaults Noctis. What? It makes no sense. So there's that. But also, just uh, it might play better in Japanese or, or other languages. I don't know, or with other voice actors. I don't know. But as it is here, the way that they play against each other in this is just not good. I don't know what the point of the scene was. But I do know that it doesn't achieve anything worthwhile. It just makes me upset at Gladio. Damn. Hey, over here. Of course, we have this uh, slow crawly scene first. I apparently somehow cleared Gladio and the proceed mark. No room for error here. <clears throat> no time to chill either. Make it quick. Again, we've been sitting here. By the time we get to the fight, we've been going through this for at least a minute and a half, which isn't a lot of time, but it's plenty of time for them to have, uh, and maybe stretch it out a little bit more, but for them to have built some tension here and, and given a good reason for Gladio to snap like he does. As it is, it just makes Gladio look like a jerk. Over. 
and the way that Noctis responds makes him sound like a whiny little brat. And both can be true, but it's not done well enough that it of all the times that's hurt that it's it, it's not done in a good way the way it makes them look like a jerk and a brat respectively is not a good way to make nah, them look like a jerk and a brat doing all right what now hey titan what's the big idea save it get to solid ground first faster Calm down. I'm going as fast as I can. This is a really cool look. And if we hadn't stopped and rested, we would be doing this at night, which would be even cooler. But I wanted to get that fun interaction with Arden, so Almost we stopped and there. rested. Come on. There's like a half step left. Just Hurry. get over it. That's his welcome. Hate to see how he treats intruders. You want to talk? So do I. Yeah, the feeling's mutual. Let's move. There's a, another weird issue, a personal thing that I don't like. Um, about Titan, strangely. Titan is the Earth. He represents the Earth, the solid, unrelenting ground. He has stood here holding up this meteor for eons in order to protect the Earth and Eos and everybody upon it. I don't understand why he attacks Noctis. Like, I understand the Tide Mother. She is portrayed as this absolute queen and thinks she's all that in a bag of chips and queen of the sea, and so she has to... Her trial is a trial of combat to prove that you are good enough for her or take her down a peg or whatever it is. Um, the Fulgarian, the only other uh, trial we see. Uh, Rama sends you on a fetch quest. Says like, okay, there's three stones. Go and collect them. Three stones across the world. And you go and collect the three stones. I feel like Titan had s such a better opportunity to do interesting things like, consider, consider, consider the friggin' metaphor that this could have been. Because what is the meteor, besides apparently the source of the Star Scourge? Ignore that. But it is also the source of immense power, all the lighting, and basically the modern day necessities. But specifically, it's the source of the light in the, the Disgaea region. It is what powers the, uh, or, or what feeds the power station in La Salem. And during Comrades, during the World of Ruin era, you collect these meteor shards to feed into the power thing to light things up. The meteor is power. It is light in La Salem. And it is being held by Titan. Consider, just for a moment, the amazing metaphor that could have existed if instead of having to fight the randomly uh, and annoyingly angry bald guy, gi bald giant. He was just a bit more down to earth, in earth, a bit more patient, as evidenced by the fact that he's been sitting here for however many eons. And it's like, here is your challenge. You're going to hold this meteor now. That is your trial. And just to kind of drive home the metaphor of. Yes, Noctis, you are responsible now for holding aloft the light, for, for providing the light for this world. Just a thought that I've had for years and maybe overthought a few times. I'm sick of this endless walking. And I'm sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. He is my back. Oh? Are you a man of royal blood or aren't you? Again. Above all else, I'm just a man. Just a man? The kingdom's fate is in your hands. Your life ain't yours alone. You have to live for others, not only yourself. You get different benefits we based Amicidia on which way you enter here. Sworn I don't remember which one is which. Guard I know for the, the one they use the other one, lives. but I had forgotten that. That's the way it's always been. Second, until I heard. I've embraced my duty, and I take pride in it. 
Hey, see what I was saying about the voice acting feeling off there? When you can't focus, I focus for you. Not just like job. So uh, let me do it. I'm sick of this endless walking. I'm calm down. The only one not being calm here is you. No vitality. Sorry, That's not useful. But I had to get it out. Come on. Uh, Sorry does not make it okay remember, for you to literally assault don't a person. Rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad. I, I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm. Isn't that your phone? Strange. Glauca had the same ringtone. Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. I got cut off. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to... It's a weird side note here. Um, that is interesting thing to, to realize, at least it's interesting for me to realize. Insomnia, behind its wall, kind of a place of peace and relative prosperity, lots of skyscrapers, big buildings, a lot of infrastructure there. And when it burned, so much of the world still worked without it. Like, the cell phones, the cell phone networks are still functional. Apparently, printing presses and the news are still happening. Um, which is maybe they're only functional outside of insomnia and getting into insomnia is less so. I don't know. But it, it's interesting because one would almost assume that the headquarters for a lot of the, the, like the telecom companies would have been in insomnia since it's the bastion of civilization, more or less. And yet... Apparently they weren't, because the telecom still works. The outside, outside Insomnia's walls still exists a telecom company that is able to keep whatever network the prince was using up and running. And also they have service in the disk. That's cool. Even hotter in here. Um... You can't go oh, around actually and find it. some. I know. Well, he's definitely looking straight at you. Hey! Oh, I'm still using the blades of the. For the swords of the. The. What? Swords of the Wanderer, that's right. Let's get rid of those. Let's swap that out for. Ultimate Blade. Oh, bow mug. Sure. And no, I think I want the Dominator. Dominator? Dominator. I want the Dominator there. I like having a big old fuck off sword. Okay, we come over here. Yell. At the Archean. Come on. Hey! I'm here! What the hell is it you want? Quit screwing with my head! You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I'm not actually in game right now? Oops. Got no choice. Ah. Actually, if asked her not to do anything, because you have to wait for Gladio to come to progress right? anyway. I owe you one. This ain't gonna work. We gotta run. Best advice you've given all day. Well, I can't have you dying here. Come on. Why is the camera clear out there? That was weird. I feel incorrect. Come on, keep moving. Why is the camera so far out? That's Really We're sitting ducks here. Hurry! Yeah, don't need to tell me. Over here! Go, go! D ah, damn it! And then here, actually, you can run along. Run. Just won't quit. Or we can turn around. 
turn, turn, turn around and work back into the hand and move on to the next phase. And then I think we get to beat up here. Maybe we are supposed to block? I don't remember. I don't remember at this point. kind of a safe spot to stand. He can't actually reach us here. And we're waiting on Ignis and Prompto to show up. Health bars are here. We're just waiting for their... I'm just going to pop to real quick. Just waiting for their dialogue to proc. Come on. I can see your health bars. Models, pop out and say words. There they are. I think we stay here for now. Apologies. Waiting on Gladio. We will come after the Magitech troopers do their thing with their harpoons. Think those Imperial soldiers just want to say hi? Oh, look at all those harpoons. Radio's here. Are we all right? Get by. And we avoid. I think we avoid until. <laughs> Don't actually remember how this fight works. We're all here. Let's do it. Again, I don't think damage actually matters here. Try this on for size. One side. I'm doing zero damage because he has zero damage left to be taken. Don't remember what the trigger is for the final fight. It's right over here. Keep it together. The game's up. There it is. You're out. We all still here? Yep, still here. If a little battered. Does this mean it's over? <laughs> ah, what? What is it now? What is he doing? He's winding up! For the big one! Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um.
That was... Luna. You spoke with her? That's why. Ah! Myself. Izunia! Arden Izunia! Imperial Chancellor Izunia! At your service, and more importantly, to your aid! I guarantee your safe passage. Though you're always welcome to take your chances down there. Buried among the rubble, is it? Dying here is not an option. We have no choice, Noct. I know. We acquired the Mark of the Archean, a symbol of Titan's favor. Although Titan himself appears to have disappeared. All right, we're going to get just far enough that I can hit the save button, and then we're going to call this stream, I believe. Um, not even I believe. We're definitely going to do it. Um, because the light's going off means that it's late enough that I should probably be in sleep. Oh, that's actually a picture. I like it. Uh, uh. I don't know, something about that just seems fun. You know what? I'm taking it. I don't know why, but I like that. Looks like It feels like it'd be really good wallpaper. Which is what I do with all these pictures, eventually. Maybe. Anyway. So we're going into Chapter 5, Dark Clouds. As Kothis crumbles, the Imperial Chancellor swoops in to usher the four friends to safety. But their reprieve is only temporary as the skies, skies tell of trouble on the horizon. With the regalia missing and the roads closed, the four find themselves stranded. So, we can come on into here. We can make our font size correct and put on the bubbles. And the regalia is missing. Not left behind, but missing. And other things that I can tell you will happen in this opening cutscene. Eh, we'll just wait. We're like. Just oh, away from it. Thank the gods I found you, boys. And what will you do with us now? Why? Grant you safe passage, just as I said. Pretty generous offer for an Imperial. Calm now. Is it fair to begrudge a man the circumstances of his birth? Well, no. I guess not. So, what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the car. Can't leave her unattended for long. Chancellor, if you truly wish to aid us in our efforts, then I request you release us this instant. This instant? It's a long way down. Perhaps the army could break your fall. Or perhaps you could simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You needn't worry. You're in good hands with me. Kind of creepy. Very creepy. He's very creepy. Here's hoping you find that car of yours. Several days later. High Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in the sky. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. 
the cause of the tremors was the Archean, who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothos. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. And all related features are unavailable to the Then maybe we could found. ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look, it's Umbra. All right, I think that's far enough that we can save. We can indeed. So that means that starting next time, whoop, we will be moving on to more of Chapter 5. I've got the bits here of what we see in the beginning. And then we'll continue filling that out. Probably work our way for, uh, through to Chapter 6. Maybe the comic anthologies. I'm still not entirely sure how to do those. Because, again, I have them physically. They're right here. They're also in Chinese. Uh, sorry. Wow. That's a bad slip of the brain. They're also in Japanese, which is not a language that I can read. So, not supremely helpful. And uh, tests with Google translates pointed at it and try and get it to work it doesn't it really doesn't like it at all and there is not even a full fan translation anywhere online there are it's it's an anthology in fact it's two anthologies of comics and so a couple of the comics out of them have been translated that we can find but not all of them there's some interesting stuff in here like there's some just looking at the art there's some stuff with uh ravis and Arden that I'd love to see what's going on. There's some scenes with older Noctis as well that could prove very interesting if I could read what in the world they were saying. Um, but yeah, we'll have to look at that. I also need to look into this uh, this Ultimania that exists that I had no idea about, but is also in Japanese. So uh, see if I can get myself a copy and then learn how to freaking read Japanese. It's been on my list for long enough. I think it figure, you know, locked in your house for however many months, that would have been, uh, been the time to do it, but I just didn't. Also, I was one of the lucky few that had reason to leave my house, so I wasn't actually stuck here. Um, whether or not that's actually lucky or not, I, I think it's, I feel lucky because I was able to get out. Not important. Anyway, so, this is what we have so far. Next uh, session, we'll pick up on chapter 5 and get into chapter 6 and 7 and the anthologies and the DLC, and the Brotherhood. Um, I've got basically two more days that I have free in order to do all this, so that'll be fun and exciting. And really, it's only like one and a half, so I need to kind of pick up the pace, which means I might leave some things by the wayside, unfortunately. Like, I might... might just not do the comic anthologies just so we can get through everything else. Probably not going to do Comrades, because really, eh... Again, there's, well, I guess there's a couple of comrades would probably be pretty quick. I don't know. But that will call it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching, if, uh, if indeed you have. And uh, please do join us for the next one. Or if you have stumbled upon this one somehow and randomly gotten to the end of it, good, good on you. I thank you. Um, but there is a full playlist on my YouTube channel of all the VODs of this. So please uh, go and check that out. So thank you all so much, and have a good one. We will talk to you later.